Boys and girls, welcome to a new series here on the channel. Today we are starting Starfield. Now, to my understanding, my little understanding of what this game is, it's basically like Bethesda's other titles, like Fallout, like The Elder Scrolls, but it's going to be in space in a new universe. That is essentially all that I know about the game. My biggest takeaway from my understanding of everything is that it's basically going to be what the Outer Worlds wanted to be with a slightly more serious undertone to it. If you guys are new to the channel, you may not know. I'm a big fan of the Fallout series. I'm currently playing Fallout New Vegas, so if it's anything like that, we're going to be in for a good series. So if you guys enjoy the video leave that like and sub down below is the easiest way to support the videos it also helps you guys find my new uploads easier if you want to keep watching with that said let's hop into starfield and see what it's all about Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella? I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer rays. A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Reams of red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. So I thought my nickname was Dusty. I think Dusty's is just the overall nickname for everybody. So that makes a little more sense, I guess. Could be wrong. Dusty, come on. With me. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. 
All right, the Edatronic works. Collect mineral deposits. All right, let's hop in. So far, game looks good. Episode 1 might be a bit of a tester, per usual with most games that we play. I might adjust the brightness a little bit. I don't know how the audio levels are, so... I can fix them when editing, so if they seem wrong when the video is posted... I need you guys to let me know in the comments if there's any audio adjustments I can make. My guy zooms through that, by the way. I get the user interface of everything going on here, but... I do wish... The top left, like, prompt for what we're doing was a little bit bigger and a little bit more noticeable. It kind of blends in with everything. So is this where things go wrong in the beginning of the game and we have to run and escape? I think. Yeah, everything is just turned his back, his back is exposed, is he gonna get got? Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Oh, I see. Why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Alright, so this is where I get got. Understood. Before I do this, I think I am going to bump my brightness a bit. Even with the flashlight. I'm going to bump it a bit. Give me one sec. Alright, so I lied. Apparently there is no brightness or gamma setting. The game just looks the way it looks. Unless I just completely misunderstand what the uh, thing is called. There's this stuff. Can I mine this? No? Okay, we tried. Man, that can't be right. There has to be a way to boost my gamma. Oh, so we have to get this one. The other one I tried getting wasn't that good. We are becoming Neil deGrasse Tyson. This is how it happens. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Are you Doc Mitchell? Oh, you're Doc Mitchell. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, give me one sec. I'll be back with my character. Alright, so my character looks nothing like me. He looks more like Reese from uh, Tales from the Borderlands. But I think if you took the beard and the uh, goatee away and the mustache, he'd look kind of like me. This That's the closest thing to my hairstyle. So we're gonna pick our backstory now. I don't know how this game plays out. I don't know what the meta is gonna be, for lack of a better term. Like, is gonna be shooty shooty gonna be good? Or is it gonna be like New Vegas where speech is a crutch and you can just talk your way out of everything you need to do? Soldier seems good. 
Cyber Runner, Stealth, Security, and Theft, Cyberneticist, Cyberneticist, I think that's how you say that, Beast Hunter and Soldier are very similar, except Soldier has boost pack training, I think we're just gonna go with Soldier, because I, like I said, I don't know what the meta is, and as far as traits go, okay, traits are gonna work the same way they worked in New Vegas, where it's gonna give you one good thing, and then there's gonna be a downside to it, so... I might not choose any of these. Yeah, and like I figured, they all have downsides, but none of the upsides are good enough that I would want to do it. Like I said, I don't know enough about the game. Maybe some of these are really good. I, I don't want to take any of these. Uh, background soldier trade zero three. Yeah, then we'll just. That's not how you spell my name. Still not how you spell my name. There we go. We'll just be me. Uh, yeah, whatever. You were a good find when we hired you. Former military always knows how to get the job done. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. Do you remember anything that happened? Um, there was this light and music. It was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Everything is blank after I went to that tunnel. Sure, there might have been music. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else... Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Yep. Like I said, we became Neil deGrasse Tyson whenever we touched whatever that thing is, so we're going to be chilling. I wish the traits didn't suck, because I would have loved to have taken on one, but... Wait, the Explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half Maybe say it a little bit louder, bro. Exist. But it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. The big reveal, just like Fallout 4, we step outside of the vault and let there be light. So far, my only objective has really been follow this person around, like a watchdog. I hear a ship, I don't see ship though. In a discovery class? That ship's older than this room. Oh, there's ship. Meet with the client, I right? Hello. Are you the courier sent by the Van Graffs? Barrett? Man! Hey, what do you look like? Do hey, I talk to you? <laughs> oh, he's busy. Yes, it has. That my oh, it's a loader busy, bot. Right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. You asked me what happened and I told you. Went on a trip, huh? I became Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, 
Been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Spirit, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Hold off the pirates. Okay. Let's go, loader bot. You guys were really good in Borderlands. What are you? Pistol, okay. I guess I have to equip that. Oh, hi. Alright, let's see how the mouse sensitivity works in this game. Okay, the ADS sensitivity is insanely slow. I wonder if I can fix that. It's a little better? Y'all got that? Y'all don't got that. Maelstrom. I mean, I'll take it. Okay, hold off the pirates. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we have hotkeys set up now. Talk to Barrett. What's up, bro? Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? Yep. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. My first day on the job. If they can tell me what the artifact yours is, I'm in. Uh, sure. I'm gonna find out what Constellation is then. <laughs> Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. I have a name, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco! Get him to the lodge! No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. It's a watch. Or in this case, probably my pit boy. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? A lot. Um... He's sending me because I'm the one having the visions. Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Alright, so it's not like Fallout where there's a bottom dialogue option that... Vasco, don't let him break my ship. That ends the conversation. You can just tab whenever you want to leave the conversation. Bro, it is such a crime. How much of a loader bot you are. I'm sure there's only certain ways you can make robots look like this, and I'm sure they look like this in real life too. My god. You are just a loader bot from Fallout. Or not Fallout, Borderlands. Just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Okay, sounds good, bro. Captain Tuck. Oh my god, he said my name! Likes to say it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. 
They did the thing that Fallout 4 did. It said my name. <laughs> it said my name. I don't know what you just said, but I can figure it out. Sorry. I was so surprised you actually said my name. That's a bathroom. That, that, that's a bathroom. Alright, let's go... This way? Okay, so this is definitely... Can we go up again? Not yet. Maybe in the future? So I'm assuming, like the Outer Worlds, at some point we're gonna have a crew, right? Where are they gonna sleep? One bed. I could be wrong, but whatever. Let's go. I'm sure my character totally knows how to fly. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Old space to take off. The ramp goes into the ship as we take off. That seems safe. That's a loud ass boop boop achievement. We're all into Starfield. Now that we are in the orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems. Probably. Sure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Nope, I'm an idiot. Tell me what to do. Hold left alt and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. I don't understand what he was trying to tell me about the speed. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a crimson Oh um, shit, I guess we're fighting. No, I'm really I'm really not good at anything to be honest. Need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Okay. Oh, geez, missile, my bad. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. Thank you. you. Search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Press F to loot. I just ran straight into it. Alright, so the space combat and the space maneuvering is... ...interesting so far. I just wonder if it's gonna get gimmicky, you know? Like, there are certain things that other games really bank on, being like a feature of things people like. And it just never works out for some people. Honestly, no, it's not. <laughs> Got the wrong guy.
That is super bright. to Crete, yes. Travel between the stars, zoom out to see the entire star system. Okay. Wanna go here. I guess we wanna go there. Oh, X is travel? What a weird button. Okay, my bad. Took me a second to figure out what I did wrong. Sometimes just reading is the best solution. Okay, star map. The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources. Rotate the planet until Crete Research Lab. My <coughs> map icon is in view. Alright, this seems a little overcomplicated, but maybe I'll just get it. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Alright, X to exit ship. Just get off of it. According to the scanners, the abandoned twin search facility is in this direction. Yep, I can see the marker. What the hell are you? I mean, you don't seem to be hostile to me, so you guys can rock. Oh, Be careful, yeah. Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. I'm sure they are, but they literally don't care that I was there, so. Scan creatures, minerals, okay. <laughs> Whoops. It says F to scan, but there's nothing to scan. Oh, I can scan that? Okay. Is it like Minecraft? Do I need a certain tool to get the silver without breaking it? So many questions. So much crying to figure everything out. Okay. Unscrupulous and violent. Button, I tried to scroll wheel to my next gun. It's not how this game works. Hopefully I learn more about the game, because... Some of the stuff just is missing me right now. Also, I thought we were supposed Curious. to go straight These to the Constellation. United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a... Uh, bad people, bad jokes, too. Why did the chicken cross the road, huh? What's a chicken? Knock, knock, who's there? Planet, planet who? If I throw a party, will you help me plan it? Okay. 
Ecliptic Mercenary says to a woman, I've been hired to kill you and I always get the job done. Woman says, can we talk about this, son? How do you keep an idiot in suspense? How do you get a free star collective hick out of a tree? Wave. Louis Lupper's Bad People, Bad Jokes Volume 2 is the follow-up to his original work, and just like his predecessor, it has become a cult hit. Issues? Nah, y'all can keep that. Drink pack orange juice? Sure, why not? More tissues, a thermos. Alright, I'll figure out how the looting stuff works later. Let's just... Actually, what's purple? Give me purple. Apparently, I don't understand how the scan works. During combat. You did great, Loaderbot. Alright, let's go upstairs and finish what we came here to do. Are there supposed to be people here? Oh, that guy's dead. Ramen and toxin. Uh... I don't want to read that. Alright, that med pack actually had a med pack. That's cool. Spiced worms, absolutely. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's running at me with a with a pipe, with a rescue axe. Your health is low. Use med pack by pressing zero. That is an awful hotkey for a healing item, but okay, I'll figure it out later. That was a Grendel. Okay, I guess I have to use a med pack to full health. Get that off my screen. You guys kind of have this figured out. This is a nice base. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Reload gun, dummy. We chose the soldier backstory. Must have been a horrible soldier. How much damage does this thing do? Surprisingly, more DPS. Oh, no, they're right here. Alright, this guy's immune, I guess. Come on, bro. And he exploded. Fantastic. Y'all have a lot of Grendels. I don't know what that is. I might have to equip it, though. How much does this gun do? Oh, this is a really bad SMG. Oh my god, I can't figure out what I can and can't shoot through. Hold on, I gotta... 
We gotta equip the Grendel. I gotta see what that is. Alright, what does the Grendel know? That I don't. Got a dead body. Fantastic. Alright, Grendel not bad. Uh, fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select the key and rotate it into the lines line up with the gaps in the security layer slot. The key to fill in the gaps. Okay. I think I have this kind of figured out. Oh wait, this changed. What? Okay, we figured it out. Interesting minigame, we got it. Alright, me going up the ladder stopped that, my bad. Legendary melee weapon? Okay. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? I'm with Constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Oh. <laughs> no. You see... Maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons. Vasco, you're not helping, buddy. Held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Um, persuade, there's no treasure in my ship. Okay, so it looks like there is a speech thing like New Vegas had where that maybe could possibly be a crutch. But whatever, let's ride it. You're not talking us out of this score. Persuade a person you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn from that succeed, you have a limited number of choices to make. Okay, interesting. I'm not falling for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. Hmm. They aren't? You sure? Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Yep, fast travel back to the ship. I don't understand the point of the scanner. I'm, I'm learning. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. But... To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of Nguyen. Select missions in the bottom section. Press R to automatically plot a course to your next objective. I hope so, because there's a lot of menus to go through to do what... Doesn't seem like it has to be this complicated. Okay, right. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff that you have to do, which I don't think it has to be this difficult. <laughs> if somebody ever mods this game, just add like a click and fast travel option. Power up grab drive, is that? Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Alright, and I have no contraband, Scan so... Complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Okay. That landing target there. And then land. Alright, E to get up. 
And then, how do I level up? Because I have a level up skills, I'm guessing, right? You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge, complete challenge, and then spend a skill point to rank the skill up. Alright. Um. Alright, I'm just gonna do that to figure out how it works. So we've leveled up, we've made it to New Atlantis, I think is the place we're called. I'm gonna end the episode here because this seems like a normal stopping point for this series to start on. At least that was a weird sentence, but you get the point. We'll pick up here next episode. If you guys enjoyed, you know, leave that like and sub down below. The more likes and interactions this video get, the more I know to keep posting this game. So if you guys like the video, like I said, leave that like and sub and comment down below. But until next time in New Atlantis, a pizza.